are back in Bangkok after a wonderful trip in Malaysia and if you haven't watched that series make sure to do so because it is one of our favorite countries we have visited so far. But back to today we are here at the new train station in Bangkok because we will be taking the scenic route to go to Got Samui which is where we live when we're not traveling. And by scenic I mean we'll be taking the overnight train from Bangkok to Suratani and from Suratani town we will hop on a bus to Donsak Pier and finally take the ferry to the beautiful island of Got Samui. It is not the quickest way to get there but it is the cheapest and it will be a fun adventure. So first thing first, we gotta get the ticket. Yeah, we already booked them online. This place is humongous. It feels more like an airport yeah. than a train station. Compared to the old train station, mm -hmm. this place is so big. I even saw a kid playing soccer inside. <laughs> Since we book online, we don't need to print the tickets again. Oh, they can okay. just scan the QR code from the online booking. So this is the first time that we're here at this new train station in Bangkok. We have been to the old one called Pong. Pong. But this one is called the Bangse train station. But it also has a new name and you might want to tell the story. <laughs> yeah, it gets confusing. The name right now on the building is called Bang Su Grand Station. But they wanted to change to another name called Grun Kep Apiwat Central Terminal. It was a very controversial thing mm. because in order to change the name, they have to change that whole sign. But and it costs a lot of money, right? Yeah, and the government came and said it will cost $1 million and people got mad. So they postponed changing the sign, but they wanted to keep the name as a new name. But if you were booking your ticket online mm -hmm. and you were trying to find the Bang Se it's not station, there. it's not there because on, online on their booking system, it's called the Gung Thep Apiwat Station. So make sure <laughs> to choose that as your point of departure mm -hmm. before you choose your destination. Otherwise, it won't show anything online. And if you just click the one that says Bangkok, it also Doesn't has no anything. trains. So yeah, that's a tip from us. <laughs> Raisin bread? Yeah. Yeah, let's get Can one get of these. One? Yeah. Sticky rolls. Get it. Okay. Okay, so, we can get iced coffee then. Yeah, we can bring everything. Drink, snacks, except alcohol. This used to be possible back then, but now they stopped you from drinking alcohol on the train because people ended up partying too hard. Yeah, and I guess it can be <laughs> noisy for, for others. Yeah. What's our car number? Car number five. Okay, car number this is so exciting! I'm super excited because taking a train has always been fun for me when I was little. But now we will see if I still enjoy it. <laughs> We're moving now. So this is my seat here. And I can't be too loud because everyone else is super quiet on this train. We um, couldn't book the same like section here so I'm actually on the upper berth and you are also on the upper berth so this one here yeah which they will convert into a bed uh, later on I think at 8 p.m. so as you can see here my seat is just a seat in the daytime and you can also store your baggage underneath here and later they will convert this bed for my neighbor here and then my bed up here and they give you blankets and pillows and everything right before the other people get here. Let's show you what the empty seat looks like. So you have the baggage, you have the tables, you have the cup holders, and the price is different for the upper and the lower berth, mainly because the lower berth has a window. It also is not as cold as the upper one, which is near the AC. Yeah, the AC is right here. <laughs> yeah, so the lower one here is a thousand baht. A little over a thousand baht. Yeah, and the top one is 
900 baht for us, which is a really good deal because a flight to Suratani from Bangkok would probably be like 3,000, 4,000 baht. So how long is this train ride? It's about 12 hours because we left at 2.50 p.m. Yeah. and we should arrive in Suratani at 2.30 a.m. It is not the best timing for arriving in Suratani because it means we will have to book a hotel and stay but we do have our favorite little not too expensive hotel that we like to book there so we'll just stay there until maybe around noon and then we'll find um, a bus to go to the pier and then take the ferry to somewhere. Yeah. It's time to check the toilet. <laughs> Why are you excited? Because it's early, it must be clean. Wow, so fancy. Is a hole in the room? Oh! No, it's a toilet! Just like on the plane! Yeah, with the toilet paper, a sink, soap, everything you need in a toilet. And it's really clean. It's really, it's really clean. It actually smells good. But I don't know if I would say the same, like, 10 hours into our train, <laughs> but right now it smells amazing. Okay, I'm gonna use it, bye. <laughs> We only have a few minutes to so get snacks. Okay. This is one of the stops, or maybe the only stop, where they are selling snacks just outside. We have to get off the train. That's why we have to be quick. Or I'll see ya. <laughs> People are getting ready. They're getting ready. They know what's up. Good job. Good job. Good job. Coconut jellies and one noodle. That was a fight for food. So you technically don't get off the train to get it. They come right to the door to get it and you gotta fight. There's not that many. <laughs> you did a good job though. You got a bunch. How much did you say it was again? This one is 10 baht. <laughs> That's why it's 10 baht. There's only two, yeah, it's two very meatballs. Small. Just some noodles and two fish balls. Probably tasty. You have to fight for it, right? This is a pre-dinner snack. Put it good for ten baht. I kind of dropped the spoon on the floor by accident, and then some guy stepped on it. So you can use my chopstick. <laughs> I can use this. See, this works. <laughs> Oh wow, that was worth the, the fight, huh? You didn't even fight. I need to clear the pass for you. <laughs> wow, it looks so nice. Yeah. Quite a selection they have. Mm -hmm. Western menu on uh, this page. Sandwiches, chicken steak, salmon steak, wings, fries, and fruits. And the other side is Thai set. And the price actually is very affordable. It's like 190 baht for like a rice set with a soup and a water. It comes looks, in like a bento box. Looks super big actually. <laughs> with a soup. And a water. <laughs> wow. Ooh. We even have an appetizer and a little dessert fruit as well. I'm quite excited about this hot soup because it is quite cold. <laughs> it really blasts the AC here, so make sure to bring warm clothes. Especially in this part where the restaurant is. Because yeah. I think if it was warm, the food smell would be super overpowering. Mm -hmm. Huh. It's like hot water, but it's nice. <laughs> no taste. <laughs> it's okay. You can tell that the restaurant part of the train is quite busy. It's only like 5.30, but all the tables are already full. 
if you don't want to leave your seat, you can order from the guy who will go around each car to take your order and they will deliver them to your seat. What's still? I think so. <laughs> <laughs> Are you excited to yeah. lie down? Yeah, but we've like. Oh, thank you. Thank you. That's so quick. Okay. I mean, we checked out the toilet, we toured the train, we ate, we chilled, we ate our snacks. I think it's time to take a nap. <laughs> Let me show you my crib. <laughs> Perfect for you, but might not be perfect for a six foot tall. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm what five six, yeah. and uh, let's see. Well, I have about this much left. Yeah, but that's basically touching. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a nice comfortable pillow, mm -hmm. a brand new blanket. What else is here? There's a hanger. Mm -hmm. There's a plug here. It's a light. Perfect. I'm glad it has this railing to block you from rolling down because I had a bad experience with the old train. The old train it was just two straps that support the upper berth. Mm -hmm. It's pretty much a hole here. And in the middle of the night, I fell through the, the gap and I woke everyone up. I looked up and all I saw was heat poking out from the curtain <laughs> like this. I feel yeah. like you could easily still roll down. No, this, this is thing. pretty solid. <laughs> See? <laughs> See? <laughs> pretty solid. I feel safe. Okay, good night. Okay, good night. Morning from Suratani. So yesterday we got off the train around 3 in the morning and then we hopped on a local taxi and made our way here which is our favorite little hotel in the town of Suratani called Blue Monkey Hub and Hotel. Very affordable, it's under a thousand baht mm -hmm. for a night. And the beds are soul sucking. <laughs> like they are so comfortable. They have blackout curtains, they have coffee and bananas for you 24 hours in the lobby area. It's great value and we always come here. I think it's our third or fourth time staying mm -hmm. here. So even though taking the train is not the easiest way to get to Samui, but taking the train was a very interesting and new experience for me because you get to see the countryside of Thailand, you get to see beautiful sunsets and go from like town to town and I really enjoyed that and even chatting with my friend across yeah. from me. Get to meet local people. Mm -hmm. Like if you're not in a rush, traveling by train mm -hmm. is a good way to, to do it. Also, if you want something a bit cheaper than flying direct, then I think taking a train in Thailand is one of the experiences you need to check off when you're here. So what's left for us today is we have a bus ride to get to Donsak Pier. And from Donsak Pier, we'll be hopping on a ferry to go to Got Samui. We're and almost we'll there. Be, <laughs> we'll be home soon. So let's go get the bus ticket. Take me out, I wanna see Big, big lights, they shadow me I wanna lay my head and feel me That's my way I can smell some already Finally 
everybody. This is our last leg of travel. So we'll give you guys a little breakdown of the cost as well of our whole journey. Um, the train, the accommodation, uh, the transport to different places all comes to about 2200 baht per person. So you're going to find that it is cheaper than flying, but it is a longer journey. Yeah, it's a little over 25 hours. Yeah. But with that price, it also includes the night that we spent at the hotel yeah. in Suratan. And I really think that Suratani is a great little town. So if you have extra time, you should just stay there and wander the streets. There's a lot of good local food, night markets to check out. So yeah. that might be a fun way to do this trip. So are you excited to go home? I'm so excited to be home and also excited to see what Go Samui is like now. Yes, because we haven't been home in over two months. Every time we come home, we are really excited to go check out the new markets, new restaurants, mm -hmm. new cafes that are open. So in our next video, stay tuned. We will show you what are some of the new things going on on the island. As always, thank you so much for joining us on this adventure. We will see you in the next one and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.